moving forward. Uh, next game is Tampa Bay. And listen, the real concern isn't Tampa Bay. The real concern here is week three at Kansas City, which pretty much everybody who had them 11 and 6 or 12 and 5 still had a loss in week three against Kansas City. So for us to go 0 and 2 and then had, had, you know, into a game with Patrick Mahomes on the other side of the field, it's pretty much a guaranteed 0 and 3. So this next week is it's crazy. That's why I love the sport. Week two in the NFL, it's a must win for the Chicago Bears. <laughs> and it, it, it feels it's awesome. that way, honestly. It's awesome. It so my prediction, my prediction is I'm gonna say three field goals, two touchdowns. I'm gonna say 23 to 21 Bears. Swifty, what do you think? Um, okay. David kind of touched on it with the scheme thing. It's like I questioned it at first a little bit. Do we fit this scheme? Is this the scheme for Justin Fields? And I think as much as one week can matter in the NFL, this is about as important of a week as I've seen for an offensive coordinator because I lost a lot of faith in Getsy last week. And if I need to see a scheme that looks competitive and gives us a chance to win this game, I need to see shots designed down the field. I need to see our identity come back. And I predict to us to win this game. I think we're going to bounce back and win. I don't know. I don't have a score off the top of my head. Um, I did that last week, and it it worked awful. So I'm not <laughs> picking a score this week. I'm just picking Bears win. And uh, if they don't, we got some soul searching to do because Kansas City is coming, and we're going to Kansas City after that, and it'll be tough. Yeah, I'm, I've been in the same bandwagon. I'm, I'm matching up teams right now, and Tampa Bay is really all they lost was Tom Brady. <laughs> And yes, Tom Brady is the GOAT, and he's my favorite player of all time. Physically, you're not downgrading tremendously from Baker Mayfield. Mentally, yes, you are. This team is still incredibly well coached. They're incredibly good on defense, and they have all their starters from last year, and they're going to blitz the hell out of Justin Fields. And I have more faith in Tampa Bay's coaching and their scheme than for Luke Getze to show me that he – we talked about the leashes and the adjustments, and I said Luke Getze is gone by week eight. I have no confidence in Luke Getze to make the adjustment over a f- six-day period that he, it took him six weeks to make last year. I don't have that confidence. So I said if Green Bay beat us by 18, I predict a six- to nine-point loss against Tampa Bay. Whatever that is to you, 21 to 30, 14 to 24, 21, I predict about a nine-point loss to Tampa Bay. I don't have any confidence for Luke Getze to make that quick of an adjustment. We aren't Um, friends anymore. No. (laughs) (laughs) It's just, I think this team is going to get better. Hey, an 18-point loss to a six-point loss is is improving. (laughs) So 